This is Twit. Duck Duck Browse. Uh, joining the Mac OS browser, they which they launched last year, DuckDuckGo now has their Windows browser in public beta. Ah, good. And as we would expect from the privacy-first search folks, the DuckDuck browser, and I sure do hope that's not what they're going to actually name the thing, it is privacy-first. It sports, and I kid you not, the Duck Player. Ugh which is a YouTube player that allows viewing YouTube videos without privacy invading tracking ads. What? And prevents, yes. And prevents videos viewed from impacting future recommendations. So well, they're not letting it track you and profile you. Enjoy it while you can, kids, because that's not going to last. <laughs> No. YouTube has already blocked most ad blockers uh, on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, I think it's so, just a matter of time. So wow. the Duck browser may not be long for this world. Yeah. They they claim that the browser's tracker blocking, which is built in, goes above and beyond what's available from Chrome and other browsers. They wrote, quote, our third-party tracker loading protection, for example, blocks the hidden trackers from companies like Google and Facebook lurking on other websites before they get a chance to load. Um, and it's unclear what, what this means. They wrote, smarter encryption to ensure that more of the websites you visit and the links you click are encrypted relative to other browsers. Okay, you so know? this was written not by the engineers, but by the marketing department. I'm yeah, sorry, that yeah. makes no I sense. Guess what I guess, I guess what they're saying is they're being more clever about choosing HTTPS alternatives when those are available. But really, that problem's kind of been solved already. So yeah. I'm not sure that that's mm. that useful. Uh, now, here, okay, here's something that might be worth the price of admission, which being zero admittedly sits the, sets the bar rather low. They said, but they said cookie pop-up management, a tool that automatically selects the most private options available and hides cookie consent yes. pop-ups. Yes. So I would like to have that. Yes. That would be good. I don't know how they do it because how are you going to like automatically respond to arbitrary pop-ups and choose the most private one? I don't know. Mm. Okay, now here's a problem. They called it the fire button, <laughs> as in lighting a fire. It and they said burns recent browsing data in one click. Oh please! <laughs> I know. And there's also the fireproof option, and that's what it's called for any sites you want to stay logged into. Now, I suppose if you name your privacy-centric search service DuckDuckGo, <laughs> then you've already lowered expectations. We know about, you hate that name. <laughs> about the, oh my God, about the name you're going to use for other things. But somehow the idea of a web browser having a burn bag into which websites are tossed by pressing the fire button to light them on fire and reduce them to ashes unless you have fireproofed them ahead of time. I don't know. I these, you know, maybe it wasn't the marketing people after all, Leo, because this really seems like, you know, it should not have gotten out on in in the public view. <laughs> uh, the browser also offers built-in email protection to hide user email addresses behind uniquely generated at duck.com because that's what everyone wants to be known as addresses when signing up online. Now, while that sounds handy, it also would create some quite powerful lock-in effects if you are, if like all of your logins are some email address at duck.com. So I'm not sure about that. Anyway, the beta of the browser, which apparently goes by the catchy name DuckDuckGo for Windows, is available from, not surprisingly, DuckDuckGo.com slash Windows. Um, and they note that switching is easy since, of course, like all n current browsers, it's able to import bookmarks and passwords from other browsers and password managers. Their announcement had a couple of additional interesting things to say. They wrote, the browser doesn't have extension support yet, but we plan to add it in the future. 
and I would say, well, okay, if it, <laughs> if it survives. Anyway, they said, in the meantime, we've built the browser to include features that meet the same needs as the most popular extensions, ad blocking and secure password management. So they said of secure password management, our browser includes our own secure and easy to use password manager that can be automat that can automatically remember and fill in login credentials. DuckDuckGo for Windows can now also suggest secure passwords for new logins, which of course everybody else has already had for a decade. This will get even more convenient soon when we roll out private syncing across devices, which you know, you really can't use this until it has that. So you'll be able to sync your bookmarks and saved passwords between different devices, whether you're using a DuckDuckGo browser on Windows, iOS, Android, or Mac. Okay, ad blocking. DuckDuckGo for Windows is equipped with our privacy protecting alternative to ad blockers. The browser blocks invasive trackers before they load, effectively eliminating ads that rely on creepy tracking. You know, because they said so many ads work that way, you'll see way fewer ads, if any at all. We also remove the white space left behind by those ads. Well, that's good. For a clean, yeah, for a clean, distraction-free look without the need for an outside ad blocker. So, yeah, that sounds good. And finally, Duck Player, our browser's more private way to watch YouTube. They said, this built-in video player protects you from tracking cookies and personalized ads with a di distraction-free interface that incorporates YouTube's strictest privacy settings for embedded video. They said, in our testing, by blocking the trackers behind personalized ads, Duck Player prevented ads from loading on most videos altogether. Which, again, Leo, I says I, I agree with you. Like, let's see how long this lasts. YouTube still logs video views, so it's not completely anonymous. But none of the videos you watch in Duck Player contribute to your personalized recommendations or your YouTube advertising profile. You can leave the feature always on or opt in on individual videos. And I thought that what was most interesting was that um, this recently created browser was apparently not simply window dressing surrounding Chromium, which are, you know, pretty much everyone else's web browser, including Microsoft's own Edge. So they explained DuckDuckGo for Windows was built with your privacy, security, and ease of use in mind. It's not a fork of any other browser code. Oh, that's All interesting. All the code. Huh. Yes, it's their own yes. engine. All, huh. all the well, kinda. All the code from tab and bookmark management to our new tab page to our password manager is written by our own engineers. For web page rendering, the browser uses the underlying operating system rendering API. Oh, in this case, it's Windows Web View Two call that utilizes the Blink rendering engine underneath so that's interesting but on the other hand what this means is this is all virgin code and like you know don't trust it very far right because you know my microsoft abandoned blink in order <laughs> in order to switch to chromium for edge so DuckDuckGo has come along and said okay we're gonna use blink is blink okay. the internet explorer engine I guess it well, is. Well, no, um, it, it was the, yeah, the IE11 oh engine. Oh, my God. What? I know. Okay. What I could know. possibly go wrong? What? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so On uh, say, Apple, I presume it uses WebKit, which is a, a pretty up-to-date yes. standard. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So they, 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 they finished by saying, our default privacy protections are stronger than what Chrome and most other browsers offer. And our engineers have spent lots of time addressing any privacy issues specific to WebView 2, such as ensuring that crash reports are not sent to Microsoft. Because, of course, the crash report would also tell, like Microsoft, which URL you had pulled, which caused their precious browser uh, rendering engine to crash, and then so they can go fix it. So, okay, Leo, since Paul Therott 
appears to have an interest in exploring the experiences and features offered by various web browsers, perhaps when the subject of web browsing next comes up, as it probably will, you know, tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Uh, just, yeah. yeah, just mention DuckDuckGo for it. Windows. Yeah. And, yeah, see if he wants to go poke at he it. He has certainly and, tried uh, DuckDuckGo on his iPhone and uh, on his Macs, so it won't be unfamiliar to him. And, the, no, and I think and many course, of us use their search engine. So, yeah. 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 All right. Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. IT skills are outdated in about 18 months. Stay ahead of the curve and future-proof your business competitiveness with customizable, entertaining training. Fill out the form at go.acilearning.com slash twit for more information on a free two-week training trial for your team. 